Hi, welcome to yoga. My name is Lindsay. And this is Katie. Hi. <laughs> we are going to focus on posture today. <clears throat> and through posture we work basically all our muscles. So get on your mat and grab some water and we'll meet you on your mat. Begin lying on your back and get comfortable. Kind of wiggle your hips around and your shoulders till your spine is flat. <clears throat> and then you can lower your legs to the mat and exhale your breath out and slowly start to relax. And focus on your body and your breathing now. This is your time. Take a couple breaths. And through the nose, slow deep breaths and exhale through the mouth. Now reach your arms up above you. Stretching, reaching those fingers and those toes as far apart from each other as you can. Stretching that spine, opening up each vertebrae. Deep breath in and exhale. Release your hands to the mat or your arms. Sorry. Let your feet fall open. Relax. Now take another deep breath in. Stretching, reaching the toes and the fingers, pointing those toes, getting as tall as you can, opening the vertebrae. And exhale, releasing your shoulders to the mat, letting your feet fall open. One more deep stretch. Reaching, reaching hard and long. Holding that breath and releasing. Now slowly bringing your knees to your chest, using your stomach to do this. <clears throat> and pull your knees into your chest with your hands. Give your legs a hug. Pinch those hip flexors. Always breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Deep inhale, squeeze, 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 and exhale. And now gently rocking up to a seated position. And we're going to warm up our core a little bit here. So I'm going to sit tall, flat back, shoulders back, good posture. And put your hands out in front of you, slowly, slowly releasing, pulling your belly in at the same time. And releasing all the way to the mat. And hands above you. Inhale. And exhale. Pull that belly in, arms up, and slowly curl back up. Exhaling all the way up and reaching forward. And now going tall and straight. And bring the arms back down. Making the C with your spine. Pulling your belly in. And always breathing, hands above you. And coming back up, exhaling. And now coming on your feet. Slowly push yourself up into standing forward then. Walk those legs out a little bit, stretching. Careful of your back that you're not bending at your low back, but you're bending at your hips. If you're more flexible like Katie, you can probably get your legs closer to straight. Otherwise, bend your knees. So you can feel that stretch in the back of your legs. And then you can slowly tuck, tuck your fingers under your toes, actually your whole hand. And then slowly straighten your legs as they will allow you to. And keep breathing. Inhale, flatten your back. And exhale, make that stretch a little deeper. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, pull. One more. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, pull. 
and releasing your hands and coming up slowly one vertebrae at a time all the way to the high mountain. Inhale your arms up and up. And exhale your arms to the sides. Now turn it around and coming to the other end of your mat. We're going to start our sun salutations. Get our body warmed up. Inhale your arms up. Reaching tall and exhale swan dive. Inhale monkey. Flat back. And exhale step or jump back to plank. Tipping forward chaturanga. Inhale up dog. And exhale down dog. Take a couple of moments to walk your legs out here. Stretch them. And your down dog, I want your elbows to be pulled in towards each other. And you're pushing your armpits towards the, toward the mat. Inhale. Up on your toes. Exhale. Heels to mat. And now tipping forward. Bring your right leg forward. And your left. Inhale. High mountain. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Exhale, swan leg. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Tipping forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up, dog. Lifting those knees if you like. Exhale, down, dog. This time, point. Bring your right leg up in the air, pointing those toes, reaching, stretching a little bit deeper. And bring that right leg forward. And the left. Inhale all the way to high mountain. Exhale down. Swan dive down. Inhale monkey. Exhale step or jump back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog. And exhale down dog. And we left leg up. And Bringing it forward between your hands and the other leg. Inhale, swan back. Reverse swan, sorry. Exhale, swan. Inhale, monkey. And jumping back. Chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. And exhale down dog. And coming back. Bring your feet back to your hands and can you jump or step forward. And inhale up. And exhale. Inhale monkey. Exhale. Jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. You can add a tricep push up in here if you like before you go to down dog. Take a couple breaths here. Walk out your legs. Pull that tummy in. Now inhale, bring your right leg forward between your hands. Dropping your left heel down, coming up into warrior one. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> Stretching those legs apart. You should be in a 90 degree angle with your right leg. Hips pointing forward. If you want a little more workout, drop your hips. Push it. Sink towards the mat. Warming up those thighs. And releasing to warrior two. Dropping your hands out to the sides, reaching, dropping your shoulders, gazing over your right fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, sink. Inhale. And exhale, sink. Inhale, reaching forward with your right hand and lifting up and coming back. And exhale. 
Right hand, right elbow to right knee. Left arm is straight. Inhaling and exhaling, sinking the hips. And now you can go down into full side angle. Deep breath in. And exhale, reaching that left hand high and straight. Now we're going to go into side plank from here. You can release your foot back to side plank. You want your shoulders above your hand, your left, your right shoulder above your right hand. You want stacked, straight line. Pull your belly in. Tighten up your core. Be super strong all in your abdomen and your back. And breathe. Now if you like, you can bring your left leg up to meet your left hand. Grab your toe. I'm not going to go there, but Katie is going to try that one. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's already there. Relax into it. Breathe. And now drop that leg. Bring it into your left, to your right thigh. Keep those hips up. If that's too much, you can drop your leg to the ground. And for the last one, bring that left leg all the way up in the air, as high as you can. Deep breath here. Hold it. And release. Coming into plank. And going all the way down into a tricep plank. Lifting your right leg. If this is too much for you, you can either come down or you can go up into full plank. Drop your right leg and lift your left. And releasing into up dog. You can have your hips and knees on the mat. It's in cobra. Or you can come all the way up to up dog. Just to work your arms a little bit more. And releasing all the way to the mat. Dropping your head facing the front of the room. Taking a moment to breathe and relax. Now we're gonna work our back a little bit because this is also part of the, the core. So <clears throat> first we're gonna lift our legs off the mat. Just as high as you can. If your head comes up too, that's fine. You're squeezing those legs together like a zipper. Pointing those toes. Now clasping your hands behind you. Pulling open your shoulders and lifting a little bit higher. Try to keep those feet together. This is really intense on the low back. So do what feels right for you. And now we'll come into full lotus, bringing your hands in front of you. Or Superman. Lifting your arms and your legs together. If you want a distraction, you can do a little swim here, moving the arms and legs, or you can just hold it. Now bring your hands back to your hips. You're going to straighten your arms and then push your legs up, lift them high. Squeeze your low back and lift. <clears throat> and release. And grab your both of your feet. We're almost done with this series. And we're gonna come up into boat or bow. Raising up, pulling your feet, pulling your feet and pushing your legs at the same time. <clears throat> Lifting. This is really intense on the low back and the thighs. A 
deep breaths. Make it a forceful breath so you can get through it. And release into the mat. Oh, I'm tired. I hope you guys are too. Mm -hmm. Deep breaths. Let your heart rate calm down a little bit. And I'll meet you back in down dog. So however you want to get there. Little child's pose me. I always like to walk my legs out when I'm in down dog. Oh, some people say like the tail. <laughs> I prefer my legs. <laughs> bring the left leg forward between your hands. Dropping that right heel, lifting up into warrior one. For a minute there, I thought we were done. <laughs> and I remember we have to do the other side. Yes! We don't want to be lopsided. <laughs> So let's stay strong for this next half. Inhale your arms straight up, super high and tall. Exhale, sinking your hips, making those legs work. Inhale, exhale, sink. One more inhale, and exhale, sink. Now dropping into warrior two. Inhale, exhale, drop your shoulders, gaze past your left fingertips. Find a nice, calm place. Quiet in your heart. Mine's racing right now. Each deep breath helps to slow that down. Keep sinking your hips and pulling your belly in. Tipping forward and bringing that left arm up. Reverse warrior. You can drop that right hand behind you. Just don't rest it on your back knee because we don't want to get lazy about that. We want to make our core work. Sinking the hips. And coming forward. Left knee to left, left elbow to left knee. Right arm is up. Sinking the hips again. Seems like they keep wanting to creep up. And drop to full side angle if you're not already there. And you know what's next. Bring that leg into side plank. However you want to get there. Nice and graceful. And take this where you want. You can raise your left leg up, grab your toe. I'm gonna try it this time. Breathing. And when you're ready, bring that foot into your thigh. Hips up. Don't let them sink. Strong stomach here, strong back. Keep your balance. And raise that right leg, left leg. Right. I'm so tired I can't keep it straight. <laughs> right leg up. And drop to plank when you've had enough. You can stay up here in plank or you can come into a tricep. Lifting your left leg. Switch, left your right leg. And coming into up dog or cobra, whatever feels better. Keep breathing. I'm sweating. Don't forget to drink water. And coming flat on your mat again. Lifting your legs. 
We're not done yet. <laughs> Lift your legs up. Zip them together. Squeezing the lower back. And now clasping your hands together, open up your chest. Open your heart, and open your mind. Keep those legs zipped together. And coming into full lotus. Or Superman. You can swim here if you need to. And reaching back into full bow. those legs. Push your feet against your hands and raise up as high as you can. When you've had enough, release it to the mat. This mat feels better than my bed. <laughs> and while we're laying here, we're going to do a little stretching. Grab your left foot and put your hand on top of it and push it down to the outside of your thigh. Yeah, you can lift up like Katie if you want, or if you're really tired like me. You can stay down here. I'm releasing that leg. Grabbing the other one. I'm gonna come up now. Gently pushing down on that thigh. Breathing here, slowly making your heart rate come back to normal. Releasing that leg. Now we're gonna bring both legs and push them into the floor. I really feel this on the tops of my feet. I release it. Mm. And you can turn over onto your back when you're ready. And thank yourself for joining us on the mat today. That was hard. Katie's requesting a handstand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if we have any energy left. There's always energy for more, one fun move at the end. Promise. <laughs> All right, Katie, take us through this one. All right. So, raise up onto your feet. Come to the front of your mat. And let's just do a quick high mountain, swan dive down, into a monkey, floating back to plank, and exhaling to down dog. All right, so raising up onto your toes, bring your gaze forward in between your hands, come back to your toes. Bending at your knees, and then as you want, you want to go whee! And kind of just jump up to where you feel comfortable. Let's see. <laughs> nice, that was perfect. <laughs> so bend at your knees, look forward in between your hands, and jump up. Nice. So press into your thumb, your first finger, your pinky, bend into your knees, look forward, and exhale. Do it again. Exhale. Woo! Oh. Awesome. Good job. It's kind of a 
That's hard on the shoulders. Yes, it is in the core. All right, you guys got a couple more in you? Just go however many you want. Just do a couple more. And then come into a standing. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Good work. Okay. Let's do some relaxation on the back. Can't leave that part out. <laughs> It's really important that you do this part because one thing I found about yoga is you're so focused the whole time on what you're doing with your body. You don't have time to think about anything else. It's the beauty of the practice. And now at the end of each yoga session, it's the time to think about what you just accomplished and how good it feels, how warm your muscles are, as you're slowly letting your heart rate come back to normal. Because mine's still racing. Take some deep breaths and let it calm. Calm your whole body and your mind. Keep that peaceful thought But this feels good. I worked hard. And I'm at peace. I'm not thinking about anything else right now. It's just you and the mat. Let your body melt into the mat into the earth, wherever you're laying. If you're feeling tense in your shoulders, pick them up and open your chest a little bit and drop them back to the mat. Same with your hips. If they're feeling tight, let them open and relax. Let your feet fall open to the sky. Palms should be facing up. Your breathing should be coming down back to normal now. Releasing the creases in your forehead between your eyes. Releasing your tongue, letting it fall back to the roof of your mouth. Releasing your neck muscles and your shoulders. Okay, so if you feel yourself starting to tense Take another deep breath and relax. Scan your body now and take a few moments. Just you 